It's John T. Boy. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy John T. Welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, I have a few things to say. One, this is no hate towards native instruments. Two, this is no hate towards any of the other content creators who received the Control MK3. And last but not least, this is how I feel. I'm stating my opinion in the most polite, thoroughly and elegantly way possible. So, anywho, as you guys can tell from my last video, I received the Control MK3. And as I was going on other content creators videos, there are some people who stated in the comment section that oh, I'm glad you're talking about this because you're the only person who I could trust. These other people are just straight up shields. They're just receiving products for free and just kissing the, 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 the company's butt. Well, um, I'm sure, you know, I'm not taking everything personally, but I want to state the facts on how I feel about this keyboard. Some people are not really happy with the new keyboard, and I understand that we can't really i mean as for i i can't go to native instruments and tell them okay this is what the people want do it quickly do it for the next product it doesn't really work that way you know it's their is their business it's their company they'll, they'll they'll run it the way that they want to or for any other company for that matter with that being said the keyboard is nice but it could be a lot better but I mean, it is better for the time being. It is integrated with major DAWs. It has polyphonic aftertouch. You know, it has a bigger high resolution screen. It, um, it's powered by USB-C. I'm gonna get into that later because that's the main reason why I'm not actually showing you what, what it can do physically. My keyboard, it stopped working when I, I came across an error when I was trying to update the firmware. Unfortunately, it might have to uh, work with a power supply cord. Was I was kind of, I was kind of a little disappointed that it didn't come with one, like the Machine Mark III. But that could be the issue here. I don't know, but I'm still trying to hear back from from our Native Instruments about it. But with that being said, the keyboard is actually nice. And just wait until the actual full inst installers come out, and everything should be working smoothly. Hopefully, um, I'm still using my my mark ii keyboard i still love it it works like a charm i keep it clean healthy the the firmware is, is up to date it looks like it's still it's still brand new straight out of the box and, and even though i have the new control mk3 that's even a big plus that's fine there's some people out there that would accept these products and just tell you that it's the it's the most revolutionary thing ever but they won't give you the pros and cons of those products they're only doing it so they could keep a stable, healthy relationship with the company. As for me, I'm telling you guys how I feel. And I even addressed this to Navy Instruments before I started working on this video. Like for me, when I stated about how I felt about Nexus 4 from ReFX, maybe I was a little harsh, but it had to be said. And if you give your most honest opinion about certain things, some people might not like it, but the company did not like me and they banned me from their online store. Now, as for Native Instruments, I'm not going to put them on blast and say that this keyboard could, could use a lot more work. How dare you guys put out a keyboard like this? That's not the case at all. The keyboard is still nice. It's still useful. It's still practical for most producers. It's up to you if you don't want to get it. If you're not happy with it, that's totally fine. You're not obligated to buy everything that Native Instruments drops. Point blank. As for me... I wish it would have had the, the drum pads on it. That's what most people said. They wish that the keyboard came with the drum pads. You know, and that way you have the drums and the keyboard on one device. And that's okay because it's integrated with everything. It should work with the machine. So other than that, I'm fine with it. Sometimes less is more. It's like comparing it to the iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy phones. They come out with a phone every year, but they add more features minimally. They add minimal features to it and people still buy it. So by all means, this keyboard is not that bad at all. It's still nice. Give it a shot before you actually start saying that it's whack. I mean, I'm not saying this on behalf of Native Instruments. I'm saying it because I, this is how I feel. 
there are some content creators on this platform. I'm like, for instance, I'm not going to say any names, but when one company disappointed a lot of people because of a bold move that they made, there were some content creators that were actually on their side because they don't want to be too honest. I mean, people will give you even more respect if you're just honest about it, whether they like it or not. Whatever comes out of your mouth is it's, it's based on how they feel about what you said. Not everything you say, a lot of people is going to agree with it. So let's agree to disagree. But we can do it in the most respectful way. Come on, let's be mature about this. As for the keyboard, it's not the it's not the it's not the best keyboard out there in the world, but it's still practical for us musicians, producers, engineers, or whatever you are. And this is how I feel about it. And I wish I can actually show you guys how the keyboard works, but that's gonna have to be sometime later in the near future. But I'm, I'm willing to, uh, to wait. Patience is a virtue. But I'm going to keep working on my baby right here. The, the MK2. It still works like a charm. But I'm blessed to uh, to be part of Native Instruments community. And I appreciate them for, uh, for everything that they've done for me. And like I said, this is no hate towards anybody. I'm just giving you the pros and cons of, of what I think the keyboard has. That's all I'm saying. You guys let me know in the comment section below how you feel about this. And like I said before, if you guys want to get it, my affiliate links will be in the description below. It will help support the channel. But like I said, if you guys want to get it, it's completely up to you. No harm, no foul. You guys have a blessed one. I love you. God loves you more. Stay blessed. And peace out.